you know, today feels like the day I'm gonna get it all right. Got a good drive right in the middle of the fairway. I feel good about today, Larden. I feel good about it. You know, Kyle, it's been a rough month for us. We've gone through a lot of, a lot of trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. the membership has been exposed to a lot of really sensitive and difficult subject matter. Mm -hmm mostly your violations but today's the day this is the day it all happens correctly right today's the day all right. let's do it is today the day that kyle gets it all right on the golf course oh no not driving down the walking path look where he parked his cart next to number one sunset green my goodness that's a lot of putts brad cannot believe it and now he's leaving the green, going left around it, and it looks like he's going to go across the street. Oh my goodness, don't go across the street. He sure did. Now his tee shot on number three. Looks like that golf ball is going to go in the Arroyo. The Arroyo on the third hole is not places for golf carts. Yep, it looks like he drove in the Arroyo, and now he's coming out. He's even cutting off his playing Kyle is all over the place. And not the new tee box on number six. Lauren, you seen the new tee box on six? Who should play it today? birdie that was let's go to eight even being excited after making a birdie is no excuse to take a golf cart up into the gravel and drive to number eight tee box and even left of number nine green please pay attention to the signs driving right over them is not that good that one's good lord pick it up pick it up lord is one of my favorite shots par 5 12 got about 200 yards in i can hit the green from here check this out uh oh that's in the royal good news is i can drive right down there if anything a grind me can pull me out now kyle's golf cart is stuck <laughs> to the right of 12 green He's not getting this one out of there. And I can't even imagine what the group behind him is thinking. Kyle's gonna need some help. All right. That was a good day today, Brad. Had a lot of fun. What are we playing, like three hours? Nice. Kyle. What? I got some bad news. Meet me in my office. We got a lot to talk about today. Oh, Kyle. Come in, Kyle. Kyle, so glad you could make it today. What do you want from me? Well, Kyle, we've got a lot to discuss today. How do you think your cart driving was today, Kyle? It was great. We played in what? Three hours? We gotta get back to work. We can't be there all afternoon. And that's not exactly what we saw. We did see three hours, but we saw violations on multiple violations on one. We saw violations on three. You were in the Arroyo, you almost got stuck. We saw you behind seven green. We are places you can't, places no one would think, well, maybe a couple people would I had a good one on seven. Oh, Kyle, Kyle, then nine, then 12, and to top it off, 18? What are you thinking about, Kyle? Kyle, we got a lot to talk about. We're not there yet. Now it's time to show you the right way to drive around Las Campanas. Right next to the tee box. That's perfect. And as you're driving down the path, avoid those walking paths. Those are for walkers. Brad nailed this one right down the cart path.
Now he's turning in 90 degrees to his drive. Attaway, Brad. Well done. After a perfect tee shot, going to go ahead and hit his second shot here. Sand his divot and get back in his golf cart. As he drives up to the green to admire his golf shot, which he hit nice and close on this hole, he takes his golf cart, finds the wooden post where golf carts are supposed to exit, drives around back to the path, straightens the post, and drives up next to the green. After he parks his golf cart, Brad walks easily to his nice shot, gets to the green, finds his divot, fixes his divot, pats it down nice and smooth, and gets over his birdie putt. Birdie on and off the cart path both today. How you liking that, Thanks.